So in today's video, we're going to discuss about Angular's standalone components. Yeah, that's true. Welcome to the world without ng module. So let's continue with that. I have been working with Angular from last six years, and I often thought about what if I have a small Angular application and I don't have much functionality or features in this application. So that means I don't need any module in my application, right? So why still I am building my application by using modules? So the thing is like in Angular, you cannot build even a basic application without use of ng module. And another drawback of using modules in a simple application is like you are unnecessarily adding more code into the application and the result, the bundle size will increase in size. So that's why Angular loses when you compare the build size of a normal application with the React. So, so for example, if you look into this application, so this is a pretty simple application here. We do not have much functionality over here. We just have a single home page. Then we have a to-do page. Then we have a product list page. So basically we have three pages and a bunch of routing. So that's all. I don't need any module here, right? Because we do not have much features. But previously, you will not be able to build this application without the use of ng module. So if you notice in our application, we do not have even a single module in the app, not even the app module here. So we have built this entire application, including this much of routing, these many components without ng use of ng module. So it is built with the help of standalone components. So first of all, what is this standalone feature? So the terms standalone refers to components, directives or pipes that can be used independently without use of ng module. Although you will need still to use the core and external ng modules, you probably won't need to create new ones. So let's create an application without use of ng modules. So first you will need to create an Angular application with the Angular command line using the Angular CLI. So you can use this command ng new and your folder name. So yes, so here I have this application here and uh, you will notice I still have this app module because this is what Angular gives us default. So yeah, so first thing you need to do is first delete this module. We don't need this. And in the main TS file, we are going to make some changes over here. We need to remove all this module use here. We need to remove everything which is being used because of ng module like this platform browser dynamic and all those things because we are not bootstrapping our application with the help of module now we will bootstrap with the help of component so i'll just simply delete this piece of code and here i'm going to add bootstrap application and here i need to pass the component name so i'm going to use app component as a default load so yes i don't need this anymore <clears throat> all right so that's all we need to do here for now and uh, in the app component here we need to make it standalone component so we can simply say standalone which is going to be true in our case because we want to use it <coughs> and then let's try to run our application it will take a couple of minutes all right so application is up now so let's test it out if it, so now you so now if you notice the application is working this is what it is getting printed right so now we are no longer using uh, the ng module anymore so yeah so we have bootstrap the application with the help of directly component so we are not longer using any modules so now the first thing is the angular comes to this component and it will look for the code which is this one so this is the initial page which is going to be load as our component is standalone we can use the new imports property the imports property specifies the template dependencies on the components like those directives components and pipes it can use here so standalone components can import other standalone components directives pipes and existing modules also so for example, we can create a standalone directive right now and use it in our component. So I'm going to use this command here. So good thing with Angular is basically this is a very rich CLI. You will get command for everything. So I'm going to use this command to generate this standalone component. It is the same old ng g directive command, which is going to the only difference is now we can have a standalone feature here. So if we generate the directive using this command, so you will notice it is already standalone. So it is not required to import it within any module but what if we have to use this directive within the app component so now what we can do is we can directly import this in our component so we can just simply have a import here imports array and it is going to accept the dependencies so first of all to use uh, directives we need to import the common modules so common module we need to we also need to import our directive so directive is foo 
directive yeah so now the directive has been import to this particular component and i'm free to use this directive here the directive name is app foo and i can simply put my directive in the template so for example i so i can add a directive here this directive is not functional here right now because we have nothing inside the directive <coughs> but i'm just showing you that this is how you can do it so you can write down any functionality that you want from this direct all right so let's test it out so our code is still working flip into the app app is also running just fine that means our directive is working so let's uh, <coughs> do the next thing now let's build some uh, routing here so for the routing uh, we need two routers here we can sure and we can have a to do list here we need router link to redirect the app so this is going to redirect to this particular url all right for routing we need to go back to our main ts file we need to provide our router module somewhere right so here we can use the same thing that we have used in uh, our components the providers so providers is basically is going to have the modules and to accept those modules we need to import it right so we can use import providers form providers form and it is going to accept the uh, basically router module router module dot for root we need to provide and this root is going to accept our basically routes so let's import the missing dependencies this is coming from core from this oh, what is the problem oh it's an array yeah all right looks good now only the thing is routes which is going to be home component we do not have any home component as of now so i'll create a new one command is going to remain same i just need to create home here and instead of directive i just need to pass a component or maybe short code is c cool so now we have our home component here we can import it so home component is ready which is going to be the default one here i don't need this match thing I can simply say home component all right so it is already imported <coughs> so this should be type of out i guess uh, it should be component here all right cool sounds good now i need to create a second route which is going to be to do route to do and i need one more component here to be uh, to do to do to do such <coughs> all right now we have our <coughs> to do's component here oops t should be capital that's how it is all right so to do's component is already there so both the components are here now we need to test it okay we are getting some error what is this error in the main ts file oh this is the all right so we also can catch if this route is going to have some issues here so we can console it oh this is my bad sorry it should be outside <coughs> all right so cool then i think it's looking good now, now let's look into the build regenerating okay it is successful so sounds like everything is working fine all right so we have to do click here oops nothing is happening the default route looks like it is working it is going to home component but it doesn't look like home is getting printed here um what could oh i have missed router outlet the main thing was router outlet okay why this is giving error oh, okay okay i think i think i think think we have missed our module here which is going to be router module that's all i need to do here yeah the route error has been gone all right so i think it should work fine okay build is still generating let's wait for the build okay it's successful cool so you can see that home works so that means home component is working which is the default route if i click on to do yeah cool so our routing is working hooray now this is eagerly loaded modules if you notice here in the network tab everything just loads at once so we can see our to do's are here styles are here so everything is here basically this is our to do module right so now let me give you some better example so if i add both the routes here okay the build is happening i don't know why the build is little slow here oh i think uh yeah one thing i also removed from here the environment file so it is production build build is basically building every time so that's why it, it is taking time that's fine so now basically okay one more mistake i have done sorry should be home so if i go back here and reload this app so if i see here we have to route here uh one is home second is to do the thing i wanted to show you this is these are basically eager loaded modules and if i go to home if i go to to do you will see nothing is re downloading right in the network tab i've already selected all so nothing is downloading now so that means this is already load in the bundle when the first bundle is done but what if i have to add lazy loading i want to download the files when i go to this particular route because for example if i'm not on to do list why my to do list component is getting downloaded it is increasing the bundle size right this is the beauty of angular you can use lazy loading so now for lazy loading we don't need to do much here let me create one more component here all right so now the product has been created let me create one more route products all right so now it should be 
product all right so the meanwhile the build is happening we can create one more route here this is going to be products and it is going to load product component cool <coughs> so this is still same i mean it is going to download uh, with the in the first bundle only all right so now all three are basically ready so if i click on home do do and products all same right if i clear it refresh it so if i go to to do home product nothing downloads right it is nothing in the js file all right so now make it lazy loaded so if you remember in the previous uh, versions with the modules we have to use load children here for achieving the lazy loading thing but now we do not have modules right we used to pass modules over there so for the component lazy loaded component basically now we have to use load component here and rest of the things are just same narrow function it will import the path so path is going to be let's see app flash product and the component this is same we do with module and it's going to return a promise here the promise is going to have a response and response is going to have the component name cool what is the problem here it's a deduction or something oh i think i missed the call all right so that's all we need to do to make this lazy loaded why and test it out so if i go here go here nothing gets if i click on products we will see this file gets done this product components has been loaded as a lazy loaded component all right guys so if you are still with this video then i think you are enjoying it and if you subscribe to the channel and like this video i'll really appreciate so let's continue with the video uh yeah so that's all i mean so now we have our routing we have our products pages so let's build a little bit of ui i have already some css with me so i'll just copy and paste i'll want to waste your because this is not about HTML CSS. Is some of the CSS here change a little bit of HTML instead of this. Same goes with products and to dos. Make some changes in the body. All right, so let's look into our. Oh uh, yeah, I also need to make some changes in the navigation menu in the app component. Yeah, things are still same. Just a little bit of HTML structure changes and UI changes. That's all. Nothing else. So if you click on logo, it should go to. All right, so looks like our UI is ready. Let's test it out how it looks like. Okay, I think I missed the CSS of main page. So just copy and paste everything from here. Paste it here. Cool. Now the <coughs> let the build happen. All right, so now you can see here mm. on the home page we have our code. We have our UI ready. It looks like it is working perfectly fine. Open yes. Okay, this is to do and this is products. This is to do and this is products. Okay, build is happening basically. okay so we can see looks like code is working perfectly fine here all right so that's all guys i hope you have learned something and if you did please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also hit the like button of this video and if you have any question please write it down in the comment section i will definitely reply you thank you guys thank you so much for watching have a good day bye